Ah, top of the morning to you, ma'am. And good day to you, Officer of Lungfish. How are you today? Oh, damp and happy, can't complain. And what are you and the wee one up to on this lovely day? Oh, just obeying the law as always. All posted directives followed to the letter. Ah, good to hear. Not a one of us want any trouble, that's for sure. Ah! Oh, Gagalo! I'm sorry. Don't worry. Every member of the Resistance is prepared to die fighting the tyranny of Kochamara. What's Kochamara? He's a giant monster like you, Gargalore. He brainwashed and enslaved almost everyone in Lungfishopolis. That stinks. So hey, have you seen any other humans around here? I'm looking for a girl called Lily. The government archives might have some information about your young girlfriend, Gargalore. Yeah, I don't know if she's really my girlfriend. I mean... I think she... I only meant that she is your friend who was a girl, Gagalore. To access the archives, we must first destroy the broadcast tower Kochamara uses to control the populace. Check. I'll go smash that then. Wait, Gagalore! In order to reach the tower, you'll need to pass through that wall of lasers. But you'll never make it through the lasers without our help. So are you gonna start helping soon? First, I need you to do something for the Resistance. Punch a hole in that prison and free my comrades! It's Gagalore! Freedom! Freedom! hoo Now, how about getting me past those gates? Right. We stole the shield power module from Coach Amara. It's too big for any of us to operate, but it should work for you. upset Kochamra and all your little brainwashed neighbors? No! I doubt it. Uh, no, no. So, knocking down the prison and then breaking this laser shield thing? Nobody's gonna get mad about that and start shooting at me. No! Uh, maybe one guy would. But what is even an entire navy of lungfish against the might and revolutionary zeal of Gagalore? Wait. What navy? Meet us at the dam, Gagalore. For freedom!
peaceful city of Lungfishopolis is under attack tonight by a hideous, gigantic monster the terrified citizens have named Gugalor. The Navy has responded quickly and decisively, dispatching its entire tank division to neutralize the creature. Soon, authorities say, everything will return to normal or better. Kidnapping human children is good. Things have gotten a little embarrassing for Gargalore. Recently surfaced information has strongly linked the previously intimidating monster with common low-life criminals. Earlier tonight, Gargalore broke some of his jailhouse cronies out of the slammer so they could enjoy a night on the town, popping pills and soliciting inexpensive call girls. Well, they're in for one nasty hangover. Our beloved Navy has come up with a high-tech new invention. Trucks armed with hyper-electricity! Kidnapping children do not harm the brains. Monsters like you before, Gogalore, only much smaller. and terror continue as the hulking, godless child beast carves a bloody swath through our helpless city. Our noble, all-volunteer navy has been surprised only by the senseless lust for mayhem that seeps from the twisted black lump of a heart in this creature, still known only as Gogolo. Though it loathes violence in all its forms, the Navy has no choice but to activate its anti-monster turrets, which it guarantees are 100% monster-proof. Do not get caught stealing children.
This guy needs a duffel bag tag. take out your laser tunnel, but then we're going to talk about who's running this revolution. best you could do. We were short on time, and he is good at smashing things. Doesn't look like much to me. Come on, let's blow this joint. Hey, you're welcome. Sorry about him, Gargalore. He's been in prison a long time. He's the only pilot the Resistance has, and he has an excellent plan. Meet us at the dam so we can put it into action. we 
You see the genius of our plan, Gogalore. First we print flyers, then we spread them all over town with my blimp. Winning over the hearts and minds of Longfishopolis in as soon as six months. Six months? You don't like our plan, you can come up with another one. Yes, we are busy. We have to select cardstock and then find a decent but inexpensive printer within the week. What are you doing up there? Pick it!
here with the star of the popular sitcom Trouble in the Bubble, Buddy Finn. Buddy, what's your take on the Gogalore situation? Is he just misunderstood? No way! I hate Gogalore. I can't imagine anyone of my fans siding with the monster. He hates everything lungfish care about. Air, water, family, the economy. Buddy, you'll be happy to know that the Navy has decided to pull out what they're most famous for. <laughs> Airplanes! So rest assured, we can all look forward to Gogalore's imminent death. And to seeing you, buddy, every Thursday night at 8, right here on LBC. Thanks, and I'd just like to add that if anyone kidnaps a human child, they should take them quickly under the lake to the abandoned insane asylum. Gogalore, come in. 
We have commandeered these vessels in your name. We can put them in position to help you cross Kochamara Channel, to get to Kochamara Island, and destroy Kochamara Tower! The thing is that, um, although we have the utmost faith that you will soon contain the area, Gogolor, we... uh... We just think it best to... to uh, uh... We've decided to maintain our position out here. Just until you clear the area of all hostiles. Yes. For insurance reasons, Gogolor. Yes, that, and for freedom.
Freedom! Sorry to report that the miserable and incompetent Lungfish Navy is all but sunk. Great work, losers. Now, Kochamara himself will have to come all the way down here just to save our worthless hides. Authorities are calling for a big parade in Kochamara's honor after he clobbers the annoying giant Gagalore. And if the parade is big enough, Kochamara promises not to destroy the city. Brush teeth more often, don't do so much. You can, Gagalore. I know it's you in there, Coach. I don't know where you're broadcasting from, but I'm gonna find out and make you show me what happened to Lily. Kojamara does not speak giant monster boy language. 
the only word you're gonna need is ouch. Overly in 
intricate combination! Hard to avoid! Area attack! Mighty round ground vision! Hard to avoid! Area attack! control of this freaky toad. I don't need him to nab children for me anymore. I've got the brain of a little girl back in my lab that's strong enough to power a whole army of psychoblaster death tanks. Huh? What? You've got the brain of a little girl? <laughs> I said, in my lab! I think you've got the muscles of a little girl, too. <laughs> Good one. That. It is I, the creature whose spirit was once, um, <clears throat> over here. Behind you? Yes. Oh. The creature whose spirit was once enslaved by the evil one. You have unchained my soul, and now I shall repay you, powerful human child. Oh, uh, great. Well, okay, show me what you did to my friend Lily. By the drowned spirit of Oblongata, it is done. <laughs> when it is 
your wish to travel across the lake. You may return to either shore and summon me with that. Thanks, hulking lungfish. You know, you really aren't as hideous as people say. You may call me now by my true name, Rasputin. The name given to me by my people. And what name is that, noble lake creature? Linda. What a magical lady. Psychonauts. The who? Oh, that doesn't fit in. That doesn't fit in at all. Maybe I've got this all wrong. Okay, okay, but... Right. We're dialing in. Ah! I'm telling you, I don't know where the milkman is. The squirrels... Yeah, yeah. Sold soul to the pelicans. <laughs> and if they find out I know this stuff, I'm dead. Mom, are you sure these are your children? Huh? Hi, Mom! Look at me. I'm tangled in a web of deception. How's Uncle G? The tuna candles have been spitting on me all day! If I know anything, I know that they ha, are controlled by those eggheads in the ivory tower to keep down my hooch! And I know they... Back in 68 with the dog track <laughs> Can I really be the only person who sees this? I scream, you scream, we all scream, we all scream. I'm telling you, I don't know it. Where the milkman is? The doctor's back at the clinic. Everyone fooled. Wait. But of course. Ah! I'm telling you, I don't know where the milkman is. of that boy band with the full blessing of one of my nostril hairs got in bed with the suits because they want the innocence but they can't hide that they pick who lives and who dies and what the football scores are going to be every week and let's just say for now mmm bacon hey looks like you're ready to take on a new psychic power Ready to come back and get your new merit badge? Yes. Alrighty then. That they, uh, votes. In recognition of your hard work, dedication, and mental agility, I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for invisibility. <laughs> Okay, let's play a game. Look out, another sensor. Oh no, you're out of ammo. No, I'm not. You are now. Here are the rules. Take this guy out, but if he sees you at all, you lose. Go get him. Don't make... Hey, 
Where'd he go? Don't let him see you. Oh, well done. Now that's the power of invisibility. I think I've heard the kids around camp refer to this technique as uh, silent but deadly. Uh... Rasputin, come up here. There's something you should see. You're the only one left, son. Can't even make a connection with Sasha or Mia right now for some reason. Sasha said he had some official Psychonauts business. Impossible. I would know it if they did. No, something's happened to them. Rasputin, listen. You're the only one who can stop Oleander now. What about you? I... I can't leave this cave, Rasputin. Not as the Ford Crawler you know. What? Why? Years ago, I was in a terrible psychic duel that left me barely alive. Yeah, I read about that. They said your psyche was shattered, that you lost your mind. But you seem fine to me. Yes, when I'm down here, near the Citanium Motherload, the concentrated power of the Citanium pulls my thoughts together, keeps me like my old self. But if I leave this sanctuary, my psyche becomes disjointed and I fall into one of my other personalities with no memory of who I really am. I'd be no use to you unless you needed something raked or, or mopped. Well, you can call headquarters and get help. The Psychonauts won't listen to me. They wrote me off as a loon years ago. That's why Sasha and Mia have to take on all my missions. Headquarters doesn't know I'm the one behind the assignment, so they'd never get approved. But Sash and Mia seem to be out of commission now. You have to be my field agent, Rasputin. Are you ready? Yes. Good. You have to find where that monster took the girl. And if you locate any of the other children's brains along the way, bring them back to me for recranialization. Understand? Yeah. I mean, yes, sir. 